I was very interested in all these little microcultures that are all over the place. And, um, and so I got, I got really interested in sociology and, um, and group anthropology, things like that. And I started uh, just reading books on it. I was like nine years old because we were just, it was whenever we were first moving in to a new hall. Uh, whenever I was a kid, and I was about nine years old. Yeah, no, eight. It was eight because it wasn't right before our brothers were born. It was, it was just a little bit before that. But we had just moved in, and um, essentially, I went into the I went into the garage and I broke the ground. I found, I found two books that I just found absolutely fascinating. Um, one was called. Um, the psychology of normal. And it was all about how the idea of what normal is, is so warped because what equates as normal is actually less than 35% of the population. It's only about 35% of the population that actually qualifies as normal because it's all based off of the averages. So everyone is outside of that. So this whole idea that people have in their head where they tell themselves, oh, I just wish I could have a normal life. You are having a normal life. You're not in that 35%. If you were in that 35%, you'd be experiencing what society thinks is normal, but is, you know, because of the grand idea of what is normal. The TV and everything like that considers it normal. It's sort so of not a democratic thing where everybody agrees that this is normal. Kind of, yeah.